there. And while the push is on to get Americans vaccinated, a new study is emerging that shows monoclonal antibody therapy could be a promising treatment for COVID-19. As Fox 2's medical reporter Dan Gray shows us, a St. Louis hospital is now using the experimental treatment. When former President Trump was hospitalized with coronavirus last year, he was treated with a special experimental monoclonal antibody cocktail, and he recovered. Is monoclonal therapy a game changer? While I believe in this therapy, I don't know that I would call it a game changer. Right now, it is probably the only therapy we have for this kind of patient a patient early in their disease who's at risk of getting worse. After further study, the pharmaceutical companies Regeneron and Eli Lilly say monoclonal antibody therapy reduces the severity of the disease. And BJC in St. Louis has been using the drug under emergency authorization use. It calls the therapy promising. We've treated more than 400 patients now, and, um, and we've seen very, very few who need to be admitted to the hospital afterwards. That's the main thing to watch for, right? Because that's what we're trying to prevent. If we can identify people at an early period and we identify that they are at risk for progressing and getting sicker, which generally means that they're either over 65 or they're over 55 and maybe have a medical condition as well that for every 15 patients or so that we can get in and get treated, we'll be able to prevent one of them from getting into the hospital. So that is the measure of effectiveness. And um, we believe that means the therapy is really worth doing. Can it be used as a preventive as well? Well, that's a great question. That's a really insightful question, Dan. And, and um, there is some early evidence that it can be used for people who have been exposed and who might not be sick yet. The monoclonal antibody medication is not yet available to the public while clinical trials continue. Dan Gray, Fox 2 News.